Why are you hanging up the clothes if you have a dryer? Do you like wasting time? Wasting time? Uh, I think it's probably more likely that I would waste time using the dryer. How can you waste time using a device designed to save time? We're living in a very novel time in human history, and we've never had this much free time. And that's good? It can be good, and it can also be bad. Turns out when we save time, we tend to not know how to invest that time that we obtain. Can you think of any negative side effects of having elevators? Less exercise, maybe? That is a negative side effect, but there is one that is more subtle. What's that? So many times when we save this time using the dryer or an elevator, we in turn waste that time. How many times do you put a load in the dryer just to be on your cell phone for that entire time that you save? Or how many times do you get off the elevator just to watch TV? That doesn't have to be a waste of time. Everyone is free to use their time as they wish. Well, that's true. But when we can obtain things immediately, when we never have to wait, when we don't ever feel bored, it puts our mind in a state of overstimulation. It's not that overstimulation in and of itself is a bad thing. It's the absence of overstimulation that is harmful. Imagine a motor that goes at full velocity, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can easily imagine how that motor would possibly blow prematurely. The thing about being in a state of constant mental overstimulation is we lose the ability to direct our own thoughts. It becomes harder and harder to think deeply about things, to analyze things. I would even dare to say that it reduces the essence of ourselves, which is our thoughts. And it makes us dependent on this constant state of overstimulation to feel normal, to feel good. That's why we can't stand being bored. That's why we get anxious so readily. That's why when we don't have our cell phone, we're always reaching for it or feeling disconnected. When we depart from this state of constant overstimulation, that's what allows us to think deeply, to become inspired, to become creative. I think that people tend to have their best ideas when their mind is at rest. I'm not saying that technology is bad. I'm saying that a constant exposure to this technology can have very negative side effects and that we should embrace these moments in which life is dull so that we can process better these moments in which we are overstimulated.